Good day and you're very welcome as we gather in this new week, having celebrated the Feast of Christ the King yesterday. A beautiful feast in the last week of the liturgical year, preparing to enter into the new year, the season of Advent, the four weeks leading up to the celebration of Christmas. It's a beautiful time. It's a time of winter. It's a time when the leaves are gone on the trees. It's a time when we celebrate, I suppose, the deaths of nature in these parts of the world. But it's also a reminder that spring is on its way too and there is resurrection. And during this month of November, the month of the Holy Souls, we remember in a special way all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. And we thank God for the gift of their life, for the gift of their love. And we pray that they are with the Lord forever in paradise, in his kingdom, because they, in their own ways, tried to live, live, live out the God's kingdom and God's presence in their lives. And just going to reflect upon Matthew's Gospel. And it's Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 40. And I'll read it for you and let it resonate with you. Because this is the kind of kingdom that Jesus would like you and me to build in our world today in your world today, in my world today. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers or sisters of mine, you did for me. One time I remember reading somewhere it's a good long time ago and the person was describing heaven and hell and he put it like this hell was a person with four and a half to five feet of a knife and fork and trying to 
to feed himself or herself. And then he went on to describe heaven. And in heaven, people were there and they were feeding one another. An interesting kind of image. It stuck with me through those many years Together, let us try and build God's kingdom as we care for and feed one another. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us this day and through this week. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray your grace, your blessing upon us, upon our families near and far. Keep them in your care as we praise you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.